understand what's that well, So what I'm going to do now, now, so basically I just whittled that down. This would be the part that's the driest of all. I'm going to try to make some square uh, lumber out of this, basically. If, if it ends up being round, it's okay too. But I like a lot of angles to start my feather sticks. It's the same thing when you're striking a feather, uh, ferro rod. You want those angles on your ferro rod. That's what's going to strike. In other words, this is a very flat surface right here. If I start trying to do a feather stick here, it only catches on the corners. So I want a lot of corners or edges on my, on my sticks. Some wood is easier to feather stick than others. Some wood splits better than others. You can see this. I mean, I have no idea. I just packed some wood from my property, right? But you can see that it's all, it's pretty crooked. So I'll still be able to feather stick it, but some stuff works a lot better than others. It's really important, especially with rotten type wood, that when you put this blade on top of that piece of wood, you're not pushing down. This is the only unsafe thing about this, is putting your hand down here, but I'm just barely, barely touching it. So, I'm processing my wood. I'm keeping it off the ground as much as I can. I'll just start randomly with this piece here. When I feather stick, I got old man knees, so I'm using this uh, garden pad here. But I like to go off to the side and then get the initial tinder. I'm going to go just really, really fine, as fine as I can. And if the shavings come off the stick, that's okay. I mean, it's not windy out. If it were windy, I would want to be really careful and, and try to keep them attached to the stick. Uh, but, you know, I'm not going to lose sleep over the fact that some of them are going haywire on me. Basically, the blade is doing the work. It's just the weight of the blade. This is where when you use the center of the blade or the back of the blade. I can use the whole part of the blade. Doesn't matter. There's different techniques. I can go like this, go up here where my finger is, and go straight down. So I like to do a little bit of a slicing motion and go about. Keep working on this one. You want? So I'm going to leave that one alone. That one's pretty, pretty rough looking, but it'll work. Um, once again, I'm going to keep it up off the ground. Even, even what seemingly is dry wood. I mean, I'm sorry, even what is seemingly dry ground will rob, well, it won't rob, uh, I was gonna say it'll rob moisture out of the ground, but that's basically what it does, is, is the moisture gets the stick wet, even if it's, uh, even if the ground is dry. And then you can put your fire out. And I just didn't wanna put, I didn't want to put that much time into processing firewood because it's a very uh, calorie demanding task and I didn't have a lot of calories. That was why I tapped. I was too hungry. My wife likes to think it was because I missed her. <laughs> that was a second. Oh, it was. So I'm going to keep you in line. <laughs> She told you to keep yeah, me in line? She told me to Well, keep she you picked in the line. wrong dude, I can tell you that. Never let you down. No, you haven't. You've led me astray, but you've never led me down. Oh, come on now. Look at all these people. Last says we got further along. At first, they checked on us quite, a, or you know, within a couple of days, or actually the next day. I was like, "What the heck are you people doing here?" <laughs> and but they were like, "Oh, did you survive the night?" I'm like, "It didn't even rain." <laughs> but yeah, we survived the night. Get out of here. But then they. Uh, I would much rather have a better anvil than this. This is going to rock and not be the greatest. But you can process the firewood just like an axe. There's nothing wrong with that, and. I will say that most people say that, oh, or they think that batoning is really hard on your edge. Look at how that, the edge is not touching that wood. 
it only touches it at the very beginning. And then especially with the Scandi grind, it's like a wedge from an ax and it's just gonna split it for you. So it doesn't, this method on the other hand, will dull your knife quite a bit worse because you're, you're slamming it down into your anvil. What's the degree of grind on your blade? Um, that is a question for LT. LT. I say, LT, make me a darn good knife. And he says, okay, Larry. And that's all I ask him. But I will take a drink of water. Oh, man. I haven't sweat this much since last year. To me, that's a much more controlled way of doing it. So I like that method better. I'm scared to death I'm going to drive my knife into this concrete and this asphalt. They didn't have a lot of asphalt where I was at. I'm going to get some of those shavings in there. I'm going to cheat a little bit. Now I'm going to rotate. Never set your knife down. Always sheathe it. I'm going to rotate those feathers over the top of it. It only burns a little bit if you get touched by it. Don't be afraid of it. Now I'm going to start adding things. This is why I like keeping them longer. Fire craves oxygen. And I'm going to put all these random pieces on here. You notice I didn't set my ferro rod down. I'm not going to lose that because that's my lifeline, right? Without it, I'm going to be stuck doing this other method, which is a bow drill fire. I think you guys get the idea. I've had this one for a long time. It just depends on how many fires you're doing. I, I took a half inch one. This is a three inch one. I took a half inch. Deemed that some of that moisture off. These are way too big of sticks. I'm just kind of doing it for the picture. Once again, the blades. The blade's not touching the wood right now. At least I don't think it is. <laughs> it never has been before. So now I feel the wood starting to give. I don't have to drive my knife in any further. Just give it a little twist and she'll pop right out. done it for long enough you can have fast enough reflexes so that you can pop it back up again before it drives into the asphalt. This is what I want here. You can see this one's uh, pretty twisted but I'll make that work. So somehow I have to make this into a round stick so that's all I'm gonna do. Once again our hard forward we kind of want to keep up, that up off the ground and this part just takes a little bit of time. Once again, the blades, the blades not touching the wood right now. At least I don't think it is. <laughs> it never has been before. So now I feel the wood starting to give. I don't have to drive my knife in any further. Just give it a little twist and she'll pop right out. done it for long enough you can have fast enough reflexes so that you can pop it back up again before it drives into the asphalt. This is what I want here. You can see this one's uh, pretty twisted but I'll make that work. So somehow I have to make this into a round stick so that's all I'm gonna do. Once again our hard forward we kind of want to keep up that up off the ground and this part just takes a little bit of time. Once in a while I'm stubborn than I do, but for the most part I like to start off as easy as possible. I've got my bow really strung tight. I hope it doesn't break. I picked that one out too, so I hope it doesn't either. <laughs> Twisting and rolling. 
and just locked in. This is one of the hardest parts here is kind of getting started. The spindle's a little bit long, but that's all right. What's happening is this piece of aspen is so punky that it's starting to grab on the sides, starting to make like divots and just be really, just have a lot of friction there. I mean, I want a certain amount of friction, but not too much. I can feel it bite. Got a little smoke rolling. A lot of downward pressure right now. A lot of downward pressure. Trying to use the whole bow. Okay, so. touching the hearth board so as this drives deeper into the hearth board the socket is going to grow so it's going to grow into your notch you can never take away you can never add material you can always take more material away so I've got a long ways to go here I have to fill that entire notch with dust so I've got pretty good pressure down. I'm just gonna chill and breathe. Okay, my notch is not filling up with dust like what I think it should be. So now I'm gonna go ahead and extend that notch deeper into the socket. Very gentle with that right now. I've got time. I gotta catch my breath. I'm an old man who smokes too much. I've just got some uh, inner bark of the aspen. Should have had my tender bundle already all done, but I kind of did because I, you know, I brought stuff from home. I cheated. Try to make a bird's nest. All this dust is good, nothing wrong with that. I'm gonna try to be really careful with the transfer. Basically, you can either grab it with your knife blade. Wow. Shaking. Put my wind to the my back to the wind.
There you go. Not always. Off of my pot, if I'm cooking it, I always, if I make something, I want to make it multi-purpose. I want it to have more than one use for sure. So my spoons, when I was out there, what I did is I made them rather elongated with kind of like a shovel point on the other end. Because when I was out there, I was it was rough, the hunger. So if I had any little bit of food left in my bowl, I was taking that spoon and just scraping it. I mean, I was, if you could barely see it, I was wanting to eat it. So I make the end so that I can lift up my pot and then also make the front of the spoon so I can scrape my pot after I'm done. So now if I'm careful, I'll just start shaving parts of this off. But I don't see a lot of guys making handles for their spoon. And the reason that that's important, and what I mean by handle, I just mean the other end. So the bowl is going to be here. Eventually, I'm going to carve this off. But when I, when I shave this down and I start working on the bowl, I'm going to be using the spear point and I'm going to be gouging pieces of wood out of there. Now I can turn it around and do the other side of the bowl and do it that way. I'll be at Woods Monkey. I'll make it. Come on by. Check it out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you.